How you doing, Brian King, UK Flooring TV? Uh, another series of uh, Dan's Tool. <laughs> uh, Dan, uh, how you doing? How you doing? Fine, thanks. Yeah, back um, again. <laughs> yeah, uh, Dan, what we're doing today, we're doing your, is it stealth? Yeah, uh, we're doing these uh, stealth gripper spaces, stair gripper spaces. They were designed as, but uh, people are using them for different things now. So, uh, again, like I say, with all tools, if you find another use that works, go for it. Why not? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, the stair spaces. I, I, I think I first that I first saw those quite a few years ago. Really, I think it was Matthew Blackburn. He came out with the first one I saw. Anyway, it yeah. was like a long piece of wood with something notched out. What yeah. space the grip on. And then a couple of years ago, we saw Floor Skills Training Centre. They brought some out. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which were very good. Yeah, they worked to yeah, treat. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then you've brought. Compl well, a completely different design out with these. What uh, what give you the idea of these? Because they look they look quite in depth, to be honest. Yeah, well, I think they evolved as I was making them. To tell you the truth, main reason I made them, I didn't make them to sell. Um, I made one set out of plastic, uh, and I wanted them at the carpet fitter of the year competition. I wanted my stair grippers on straight, gap right, and more more than all of that i wanted them on fast because i was fluffing about trying to get them here or there looking at them from the front and the top and i just thought i'll make myself something next time i go that i can throw in the gap bang them on they're straight they're sorted so i made them for myself i actually made two sets and i sent a set to brian uh you had a play with them as well so, yeah, I, so, so i knew it just wasn't me that was thinking it was working and and it was useless uh, and then you put a photograph on the internet which uh, a few people wanted to buy some so it, it went from there I had a, a batch of uh, 150 made uh, Steve Russell at RWS said that he would sell them uh, so I, I stuck with Steve and we, we sold all of those we sold some plastic ones that I'd made myself before that um, and, and they seem to have taken off but they were just made as a set personally for me to get the grippers on in a straight line uh, I wanted to put the two grippers on at once temporary with the stapler and then run up the stairs and bang the, the nails in so it's it's something that I made people like them people don't like them I didn't invent gripper spacing on stairs uh, back in the day it was hammerheads I hear fingers bits of gripper cut with notches uh, everyone's got their version of a spacer I've just made them and people have wanted to buy them I, again I'm not an instructor I'm a carpet fitter you don't use these things every day I use them for what I wanted they're in my tool bag and I keep seeing them on the internet that people are using them which is I just feel it's good that some it was useful um, other than that they're not going to set the world on fire they do a job uh, I didn't invent stair spacing everyone else's stair spaces do the same job I just thought there's a kit there and it does most thicknesses of, of carpet so basically you made it for yourself yeah yeah, yeah. and uh, to be honest they've, they've took off quite well they're, they're quite popular especially on social media you see people all the time putting pictures of using them yeah yeah um, I, I, are they the same as when you first made them or have you tweaked them and is, is, is uh, there much different to the, the original ones you made? Well the original ones, there's, I, I'm not going to say the guidelines because I don't tell you how to do things as people who tell you guidelines but basically I'd put um, some guide sizes uh, on them of, of two times this and, uh, and someone who's quite big in the trade said well you're not really right with that uh, because it depends how thick the carpet is if it's a thick carpet the pile will crush down so it essentially although it looks like a thick carpet it is really a thin carpet so what I decided to do after that was just put the sizes uh, and on one spacer this is a 14 uh, the gap that's here is a rough guide onto your carpet thickness so this is really for a carpet I'd say about 7 mil again it's not for me to choose which space you use you need to know what you're doing and what gap you want this just gives you a guide of the grippers so uh, a man it's said to me that's wrong and when I thought about it yeah it was wrong so he did me a favor so I've marked them up with sizes and uh, the bit that's here is a rough guide to the carpet that it's, that it's going in but obviously if it's a thick carpet 
you need to put some pressure on squeeze it down uh, but it's up to you to choose the spacer see it's, it, it's a personal choice um, some carpets you might think that they're supposed to be this wide but actually it needs to be a bit tighter they fit better and it works so as, as a fitter you begin to know what you need out of a job uh, I spoke to Brian about it the one day and you said to me you tend to use the one down on you, you use the tight the tighter one that yeah. the guide is showing you so yeah it's up to you all these do is put them on the stairs straight you choose the, the gap you choose the spacer uh, to suit your job basically so there's nothing there to teach you how to do a job it's just to go yeah 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 well you, you'd know straight away yeah. right then let's uh, let's have a look how they work here yep okie doke so the way they work is where, where you've got no join in your carpet and you want your grippers uh, equal gap you've got your little square there that goes in the gap of the gripper so basically you can put the two on at once like that uh, put your staples in and then move it along clip it in uh, and you can space that's on your straight flight of stairs where you've got a join in your carpet and you need it uh, a tighter gap to to hold it together one and a half times thickness yeah yeah is, is the guideline yep so that responds to that there this for your first piece of gripper that's spaced back you use the wider one and then that one there has got the 6.5 mil thickness of the gripper knocked off so you rest that on top of the gripper you fitted and it will give you the same gap as you've got the other way see what uh, when these first come out i didn't know about that i yeah. just thought you used them for spacing them yeah, uh, yeah. as you're putting them on yeah. so uh, still now a lot of people don't know that benefit from them yeah yeah that well this will do the it will do the narrow gap that you need that corresponds with the wider gap that you're using on the stairs on a straight run where you come to join to a landing or a winder you you would use the, the tighter gap yeah. Right then, let's see how, uh, how they perform when you're fitting them. Okie doke. Okie doke then. If we say that we've got a join in the carpet, we're starting off the landing, we've got a winding step, whatever we've got. Basically, you can put that in. You can, you can just use the nails there, you don't need the stapler on this one. So then, if you want to put the back one on, you use a shorter one which has got the thickness of this gripper knocked off and then you put that there so that, that gives you a starting gap anyway so uh, where you started off a winder off a landing that gives you your tighter gap that corresponds to uh, the wide gap you're using on a straight run Okie doke, so if you're on a straight run of stairs where you've got the, the gripper spaced a bit wider you push in the square as we got there the way I've found better to do it bring that in, clip it into there if you get a couple of three staples in your gripper to start with then you can put your end staples in, put your extra nail in, uh, run up and down the stairs and, and bang the nails in at the end when you've done the whole flight and they're level and fast. As easy as that. There you go. <laughs> right Dan, another good tool of you. Um, handy tool I'd say, especially for say a newcomer. Yeah. And you know, yeah. Good, you good know. for your apprentice, you can just show them which one to use, set them off. You can't really go wrong if you do use them all the time i, I use them quite a lot uh, and they're quicker to use the more the, the more you use them it'll slide between the nails so even if the nails are still sticking out because uh, you haven't knocked them until the end it, it, it'll slide between the nails um but yeah it's if if you, if you want a spacer it's a, it's a good thing if you're against spacers well carry on with your big toe whatever you're using so uh, <laughs> uh i mean as you if you know your job you know what gap you need you can do it by eye uh, like I say I did it for a competition and I wanted the stuff as perfect as I could get it but it turns out that some people like it some people hate it so 
It's no. a stealth Marmite spacer. <laughs> well, you know, I mean, I'm on my 30th year fitting. If I put grip on a run of stairs, if I go back and look at every one, yeah. you know what I mean? You can't, yeah. it's impossible to get that consistent gap yeah, yeah. using and, just and, your and you're standing on your head, basically, trying to look between your legs, and, and uh, it just, for me, it works. Don't use them all the time. When I do use them, they're useful. Not everyone needs them. Uh, I'm not doing the hard sell on these things, but um, if you want to post your comments and say you hate them, carry on. If you want to say you like them, that's it. It's every man's taste. Well, <laughs> I'll give them the thumbs up. Yeah, yeah, that's it. Uh, also, um, uh, RWS, Cabin Fitter Supplies, they've sponsored yeah. this video again. Yeah. Um, if you, I think Steve's getting them. That's made. what I've got to say now. Yes, is Steve has took these on. Uh, all the ones I made have sold. Steve's took them on. Uh, he does them himself now, and uh, uh, so I think he wanted an instructional video for himself. So this this is killing two birds with one stone. But he, he's doing the discount on them as well, isn't he? Yeah, the uh, uh, discount code if you're buying them online is Dan's Tool. Uh, enter that, and you get your discount. Um, but yeah, uh, great. Another another yeah. good review, Dan. Look yeah, forward to yeah. the next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll have to think of something, won't we? <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Thank you. Ta-da.